It feels so good when you get it right. <laughs> That's what she said. And thank you, Gran Turismo, for, for saying that. So flashing this guy, I think he just went off. <laughs> Sorry, 12th place. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another GT Sport video. Welcome viewers, welcome. You know, I am posting these because a Super GT guy usually watch what, doing Gran Turismo videos hasn't been posting, so I'm posting these. You know, I also want to give a plug to uh, Mechanic CG. Awesome videos, great Gran Turismo videos as well. Here we are at Brands Hatch. And in the GR1 category, the Porsche 919 Hybrid. Love this Porsche. Starting off third at Brands Hatch. Here we go. Coming around for the start finish line. That's a start. Green, green, green. Coming down the hill. This is a really tricky corner. It feels so good when you get it right. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway, turning into turn two, I think this would be powering out of the straightaway. It's pretty important. This is a really tricky left-hander as well, using all the curb and then some. Going down, just trying to get settled here. Everybody calm down. Everybody just calm down, calm down. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, wow, that's a fast... <laughs> Fast corner right there. Why well, you can see I got a little bit out of control. No, not me, actually. My Porsche teammate behind me got a little bit out of control. You see Gran Turismo thinks I'm ninth quickest of this group. And thank you, Gran Turismo, for, for saying that. Not giving the confidence in me to come up through the field. But I love how the uh, three lights on the side are illuminated, meaning I'm in third place. Looks like we have an Audi in front of me. Those Audis are really quick. Especially down the straightaway here. Just can't seem to get around this guy, ZW. Love the sparks flying, of course. Heavy on fuel, going down for the pass. Oh, it looks like a little bump there from ZW. And I'm off cleanly right there, and it looked like that was the best sector time of the race as well. So, of course, we are heavy on fuel. We are on Hard tires, hard racing tires. Another fastest sector time. This might be a fast lap for us on this one. Down underneath the bridge, you see some sparks here as the car bottoms out. Yep. Heavy on fuel. This will definitely require a pit stop for fuel and tires. And a 15 lap race, so we're looking at maybe lap seven, lap eight to box for some new tires. Same tires will go on. Whoa, someone's off in the background. That's a real easy corner to go off in that gravel trap. I've done it many times. Not proud of it, but it's, it happens. So back on in the main straight here. Let's keep our head down and get flying towards uh, Auto Man 24. Fastest lap of the race, 114.7. We will take it on our bid to get some wins here. This is a Wayback Machine, race from uh, 2018, I believe. One of the best, wow. This car is just amazing. You know, it said to, after it was done racing, they took out the headlights and did some kind of body, more body uh, tweaks on it, aero tweaks, and ran it about around the Nürburgring, and I think it got an all out fabulous record uh, for a race car around that track just insane insanely fast car oh, I love how the sparks fly when you hit the bottom out of the track there tricky corner as well nice camber though so you can go faster than it looks the car will grip a lot of downforce on these cars So racing the big boys. These these cars almost seem too fast for this track. When you're in car, it is just kind of mind-boggling how fast this lap is. Hard on the brakes. Turn two. Turn three is a little tricky here. 
another faster sector time. I think I'm definitely gaining on first place. This is a little tricky corner too. You want to get it right and you want to get the power down early because it's a long, long straightaway here. Downhill run. This corner is faster than it looks too. Ugh. You can see Gran Turismo wants me in third gear there, but I'm taking that in fifth. This one I'm taking in fourth because I don't want to get a lot of wheel spin either coming out of these corners. I am using TC, traction control. Um, just to maximize my my corner exits on this I still you know you can drive differently with traction control on you, you can theoretically just go into a corner and mash your foot down all the way and let the computer sort itself out same thing in real life right but if you are still smooth and I, you can watch my throttle input through the through the corners here I'm still you know wah, 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 going through the corners and dabbing the throttle trying to get the the rears to grip and if you drive it that way you can actually I mean I think as well as what the computer says is too um, you can get a lot faster than just going into a corner mashing your foot down and letting the traction control sort itself out Bottoming out again, still heavy on fuel. You can see I'm halfway through my fuel now, and I'm on the uh, highest fuel setting, not reserve, the highest power setting, number one on here, because it's basically a sprint to the first pit stop and a sprint to the second pit stop. I don't know if I'm gaining on first place there. No live timing and scoring. Um, Tag Heuer must be having a little glitch back onto the main straightaway you see my boys out there in the pits getting ready to box probably uh, getting the tires ready must be kind of like a uh, overcast sort of toward late in the evening day here so you can really see the uh, lights on the side illuminated feel like it's a cold winter day as opposed to the heat of the summer right now. Underneath the bridge, sixth gear, gonna turn in down a little bit, turn in fifth gear here, power on midway through. And down to fourth here, use the curbs, watch that exit curb, it's really easy to go in the gravel right there, especially right here too. This is a very tricky corner. This one is a pretty flat out 90 degree corner. Whoa, someone's, it's Auto Man. <laughs> Whoa, we have a new development here. Auto Man has gone off and handed me the lead and you know what, we'll take it. Something's going on around there and uh, no replay needed, but he definitely messed up. So we're in the lead and chasing down. Looks like we're gonna run into lap traffic here of 15th place we're gonna dispose of him really quickly and get around these people so we can start concentrating now on just setting fast laps clean laps managing the tires managing the fuel might start short shifting here it really does make a huge difference you can also uh, lift and coast before your braking zones to save some fuel as well without turning down the fuel settings as we go past 14th place we lap him in the Peugeot. Lapping this Bugatti. Man, I'm sure glad that Gran Turismo decided to ghost lap traffic. Um, true story. I don't know if I have it on, if I recorded it, but uh, on this very same track, I passed the guy was in third or second place and the guy waited around for me and when I lapped him, he punted me off. I went down into a braking zone, he sped up behind me and punted me off and I, like, what is the deal? I, I chatted with him afterwards and said, dude, I was in second place, third place. I think I was in second place. Why did you do that? And he said, you punted me in the beginning of the race. I'm like, oh man, I did not. Um, I watched the replay. It wasn't me, it was somebody else. He thought it was me and then he punted me and it, it ruined my race. So lap traffic used to be a factor in Gran Turismo. 
It still is. I mean, if you ask me, ghosting a competitor is an awesome step, and I welcome that, but it still throws me off. I still am trying to look through them. It's a distraction. It's like having uh, you know, people doing jazz hands in front of your face when you're driving down the, this straightaway here at 180 miles an hour. It's um, still a distraction, especially if you catch these guys in the corners. So it does throw you off. I think it throws everybody off, and you just kind of have to look through it and, and, and power through it and get, a, and, uh, get on with it. But major distraction. So thank you for ghosting them, but still a distraction. And we are lapping. It looks like very consistent, except to see that last lap, lap seven was a 116. Probably because I got a little bit distracted on the lap traffic. Here we go, box, box, box. And we're coming into the pits. Four fresh tires, come on boys. Quadranex boys go to town. Waiting for the fuel, I'm gonna take just enough to get by. 74, we're at 74 and we're off. So you can see we pitted at lap nine. A little bit more than the halfway point. Took about three quarters worth of fuel and we're in second place again with uh, somebody out in front. I'm hoping that he did not pit yet and that we should be able to regain our lead as soon as he goes in the pits. We'll see what happens here. Anybody read what that uh, guy's name is? I don't have my glasses on. Julian? Is that, is that what that is? Anyway, we're catching up to him, the new leader. Looks like we're catching up pretty quick. See more sparks flying as we added more fuel. Especially at these high downforce areas where the car gets smashed into the ground. Compresses the suspension because of the downforce. Yeah, he took... What is that car? Is that the Hyundai? TR1 prototype. What is that? Yeah, I, I forget what that car is, but... You know, the reason why I like the Porsche... Oh, he's pitting. Okay. So, we should regain the lead here. And, wow, he only had two more liters or gallons. I think they do it in liters. It looks like he was very low on fuel. See how short shifting there a little bit. Just keep it on the black stuff. Keep it on the black stuff. See, my throttle input is nice and smooth, even though I'm using TC. I've had uh, very conflicting debates over Gran Turismo and, and the use of traction control. I try not to use it at all. It's more of a challenge as a driver, but there are some cases where obviously it helps. But in Gran Turismo now, I think more than ever, it does penalize you. So if you're if you're Using that as a crush to come out of corners, it'll definitely slow you down and I can catch up if I'm not using traction control. Um, if I'm using traction control, like if I'm driving like I was, um, start over here. If I'm driving as if traction control is not on, meaning smooth as I can, being smooth with the throttle, midway corner, you see my throttle input there, like wah, 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 you know, getting the power down smoothly, if I was driving like that with traction control, then I, I feel like I'm not getting hindered by the traction control slowing me down. Whereas if I'm just flying into a corner, late braking, jumping on the brakes, turning the car all the way, full lock, and then stomping on the throttle and the computer regulating the throttle for me, I think that is a big disadvantage in Gran Turismo. So flashing this guy, I think he just went off. <laughs> Sorry, 12th place. <laughs> Leaders coming through. Don't ignore the blue flags, okay? Just just pull over. Just make some room for the leaders here. That's ah, a great shot. Flying through the forest. Brands hatch. So now it just seems like it's uh, a game of managing to stay on the road. It's my it's my race to lose here at this point. Um, you know, you, you gotta you gotta keep. Well, it looks like he's catching up. You gotta keep your pace up, and sometimes it's easier, frankly, to run in second place because you have a target to hit. 
Um, when you're out in front, sometimes you can just kind of get in the funk, get in the zone, and there's a 115.3, so not my fastest. Now I was running 14s there, and ran a 14 before that, but I did have that lot of traffic. It looks like Auto Man has turned up the, the wick here. It looks like he's definitely gaining, so we have... I believe he's in a Porsche. But uh, there's definitely no team orders here. So even though the factory does want to see a 1-2 finish, if in fact that is a Porsche, um, they don't want to see us tangle with each other or push me to a point where I make a stupid mistake, which is could happen, of course. Yeah, you know what? That is a Porsche behind me. So theoretically, someone brought a dog to the track. Did you hear that? Theoretically, um, you know, it's driver against driver at this point. 14.6, it's a little bit better. He is definitely gaining. My Canadian teammate here. Yeah, now he is definitely gaining. See, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. It's about three seconds behind me. Got the old school timing and scoring, uh, using your fingers and your toes. In this case, I would hope to be using my toes, but it's definitely under 10 seconds, so fingers only. This is getting intense. He's definitely gaining on me. I might have been in a situation where I'm saving fuel too. I might have taken just enough to get by with the knowledge that I need to short shift. Oh, off the track a little bit. Oh, he did the same thing. So maybe he's watching me too much because he just made a bigger mistake than I did. Which is lucky for us, right? He could have capitalized on that little, little mistake there. the hill that is such a tricky corner I love it though when you do it right you see I'm not using all the exit on that corner same thing with this I'm trying to really be conservative and stay off the off the curbs except for that one that one I know I can take sometimes you can hit a curb and it's fine and sometimes in this game you hit a curb and it just whips you around so in order to avoid that sometimes Especially when I had to have the lead here, I stay sort of in the middle of the road, not the optimal racing line, of course. Coming up on lap traffic again, it's that Peugeot. Goes to through him, still probably messed me up a little bit. Especially, hit, I always seem to hit him right at the apex of the corners. Oh man, Automat is definitely gaining on me now, you can definitely see it. Holy crap, whoa. That's why I think I chose to use traction control in this, to take the pressure off of that kind of exiting straightaway, uh, exiting corners and uh, fishtailing like that. Very easy to do in this Porsche. Last lap. I'm hoping for some team orders here. And uh, not receiving them, so uh, it looks like we are free to battle until the last lap as that Bucati just goes off in front of us. Thank you. Awesome shot. Wow, look at those clouds. Menacing day for such a menacing car. I love to see that one single dot light up on the side of my car there, indicating that I'm in first place. It looks like Auto Man has dropped back a tad. 114.3, my last lap. Let's tap the brakes down the hill here. Watch this corner, it's a little tricky. Hit that curb, don't go too wide. This is a great corner, a lot of camber. You can carry a lot of speed through here. Oof, he, he's using that outside curb. I do not look like, I do not like using that outside curb right there. Here we go, coming around to the start finish and it looks like we're gonna get a W right here. 
And a win for the Porsche GR1 category, the P1 category. Porsche's top guy right there. Excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed this race. I did. If you didn't, I'm sorry. And um, we'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe. Cheers.